Hello, my air sign friends, and thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. I'm Indigo, and I am here to bring you your Wednesday, December 13th, daily twin flame and soulmate reading. So I'm going to punch down at the table here, and get, let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our air signs? For general, any general messages that you... Feel air sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus need to hear for December 13th, 2017. Oops. Okay. Oh, you know what? For instance, cut it again. Okay. Oh, wow. You got the star card. So things are starting to work out in your favor. Um, if the stars hasn't, haven't started aligning yet, they sure as heck are going to be because, um, spirit is saying, this is your time. This is your um, time to shine. This is your time to, um, just have everything coming to you that you've worked so hard for and, um, everything that's meant for you for all the good that you have done. Um, and you're going to have, um, Many different um, situations, many different opportunities, many different people coming in and offering you different um, different opportunities in life that are based around your wishes. Um, let me clarify real fast here why the Hierophant and the Chariot are both in reverse. So you're not like wanting to do um, stick to traditional um, like. Conforming to traditional ways in anything spirit is saying. Um, and okay, so um, yeah, you have a couple choices to make. Spirit is saying to take your time, don't rush in, um, don't let, don't react on your first thought. Make sure you take the time to plan it out, plan what direction you're going to go in, um, what you need to complete the task at hand and to really refrain from rushing in. Um, you're going to go towards more of the non-traditional um, ways, but spirit is saying you as an air sign usually do that anyways. You like to cut your own path in the, um, in your life and that is okay because somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to be the first one in there in the thick of it and, um, start, start, um, really making headway in different things in life. So, uh, right now it's, you're not moving forward just yet. You're kind of hesitant because you don't feel like you are quite where you want to be in order to set out. You want to, uh, work on your finances. Um, you want to take some more time and um, put some more um, effort, energy, all that into preparing yourself for this task at hand. And Spirit is saying, yay, that's what they want. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there is going to be something that comes in and shakes you up a little bit. Could be a, a broken relationship, but um, only if that relationship ref uh, effects, affects uh, the area in your life to where you're starting out on this new career path. Um, if it doesn't, then this isn't the tower that, um, is in this reading. I am getting for the majority of you, this is you losing a job. You are going, someone's going to come in and, um, you know, it's kind of like the doors are closing. Here's your 30 days type thing in spirit saying, don't get up in your head. Don't, um, don't start doubting yourself now. Don't have those internal conflicts um, because you are, go oh, nice. Page of Swords and Page of Wands just came out. You and the King of Cups, clarifying those two. You are going to be okay. This is actually what you need. This is what you needed in order to align you in your dreams come true. Um, you had to have this happen in order to get you in the right path you know, the one forging the journey, I said, um, that tower had to happen to get you in alignment, to put you on the right path to starting this, um, new career of yours, this new business. I see it's going to be in a non-traditional, um, 
area that not too many people have taken the chance on exploring that avenue yet. So um, congratulations, go you, and you're going to be successful. Your, um, your wishes and desires are going to become true. Spirit is saying for a group of you, you are getting word tomorrow, A, you either are losing your job or you're getting notice that the company is closing or tomorrow is your last day at that company. You've already gotten your notice or tomorrow you are going to get um, specific information on starting your new company. So congratulations, Air Science. That is amazing. And I'm sending you all the love and um, all, all the love that you're going to need to center around you, all the light that you'll need, and then some because you're going to be so successful. And it's going to be an uphill climb at times, Spirit is saying, but the view is great. So enjoy every step of it because this is literally you putting your dreams into fruition right in front of you. Like you are the magician now. All right, spirit and angels. I hope you bring us some awesome messages for our air sign singles. What do they need to know on December 13th, 2017? What messages do they need to know in 2000 and, or December 13th, 2017? Um, sun, moon, rising, and Venus air signs. For those of you that message that was before, about starting your own company, it is in the um, area of electronics, like something with computers, something with, you're going to come up with like a groundbreaking um, program that really has not been done before. It's like the first guy to stumble and across and come up with the idea of Facebook. No one had forged it before, but now look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's going to be something in with computers. I'm not seeing social media, but like a computer program. <clears throat> so for those of you that resonates with congratulations good luck and um you deserve it is what spirit is saying so for you single air signs you have the nine of swords as your bottom card so you are coming out of a time where you are stuck in your head over somebody and um the seven of pentacles you put in a lot of work to this relationship um and the knight of cups um, is clarifying that and as your past energy. So you put in a lot of work and you feel, you feel gypped because you didn't get the love offer you wanted and the four of pentacles here in reverse. So you really weren't getting their time, their attention, their, they weren't investing in you and you felt, um, you felt really let down. You have the nine of wands here in reverse clarifying the seven of pentacles. So you you fought as long as you could for this relationship. You have the four cups here, and they just didn't see your offer. And the five of wands in reverse. Um, they didn't see your offer because they had somebody else, air signs. And this ultimately emptied all your cups out. You thought they were what everything you wanted. Um, you wanted a new beginning with them. You had a passionate love for this person. And, yeah... And they had somebody else. They had the King of Swords and the Tower. So there's a reason why this didn't work out, single air signs, because they already had somebody when they um, started messing with you, um, more than likely married or in a committed relationship. For sure, they had somebody else, though. And that is why they were not taking your offer seriously or seeing your offer, because unfortunately, they didn't want an offer. They just wanted a good time. So, um, spirit is saying just to, um, do your best to keep your head held high and move on, walk away and because you have something better coming your way. Okay. Spirit and angels. What messages do you have for our exclusively dating and coupled air signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus that is Gemini, um, Aquarius and Libra. What messages do you have for our couples on December 13th? 2017, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Okay, your bottom of the deck card 
is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is that card that um, somebody is trying very hard in the upright to get her attention, to notice him. And, and she doesn't. When it's in the upright, he at her feet is getting her attention. He has successfully gotten the attention of you, Air Science. Um, wow. Air Science, you just are having like a hell of a day tomorrow. Awesome. Your main overview card is the Magician. So you got her attention or him because you have all the tools. You have everything right at your hand to manifest what you want. And you're going to because you got the Fool here. And the Six of Pentacles. So not only are you bringing into fruition the relationship of your dreams that you want, you are getting a fresh new start with them. And it's perfectly balanced. You can't ask for anything better than that. Um, the High Priestess is clarifying the Magician, which they are, you know, they are the yin and yang. Um, uh, and your intuition is on point. You are equally vibrating. Um, you have the Hierophant clarifying the Six of Pentacles. So um, possible marriage could be dealing with the Taurus. And you have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So you are keeping those walls down. You are not blocking them out. Um, you have the Seven of Cups. The Knight of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. So you're, I mean, holy cow. Air signs. Awesome. I don't even really need to explain this. You guys are putting in the hard work. You guys are willing to do what you have to do to keep this balanced. And it's just going to be a passionate, loving, beautiful, coupled relationship. Could be getting engaged or married. Um... You guys are the high priestess and the magician. I mean, come on now. This is absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Air Signs. That is by far the best love reading I have done um, all week. Well, I can't really say that because I haven't done many this week. But I will say at least for the last two weeks, that is the best couples reading I have gotten. So congratulations on, you know, your dreams coming true as far as your um starting a new business and being very successful at it. For those of you who are single and could not get the attention of um, somebody else, that's okay. You're meant for better. You have better coming in. So um, keep your head held high and keep on walking. Um, and for you couples, congratulations. You got, you're manifesting your partners and, and they are beautiful, balanced, successful, um, perfect relationships. Well, not perfect, but you know what I mean? So, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I hope to see you guys back tomorrow. So thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sending you all the love and light.